Hello everyone I'm Leo the Racing Driver. Welcome back to 51 GT3 Racing School Channel. In a previous episode, we talked about how cars don't stop to refuel during the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. However, in endurances races, racing cars often do need to refuel, and the refueling duration must be short. I'm going to talk about the refueling tower for the endurance races on my right hand side. The structure of the refueling tower is actually quite simple. The gasoline is stored here, and there is a tube to keep the air flowing. The other side of the tube is connected with the dry brake valve which is used for fast refueling for racing cars. Grab both sides of the dry brake valve and insert it into the car, and then the gasoline goes in. By the way, the dry brake valve is pretty cool. It can bleed out the air while refueling, so the speed of refueling is very fast. An ordinary dry brake valve costs around $600, but this one that can both refuel and bleed air costs about $6,000. The entire oil storage tank is wrapped in fireproof materials that can protect the refueling tower in case of a fire. An oil storage tank like this can store 150 liters of gasoline, and it only takes about 30 seconds to refuel all of it into the car. Now let's take a look at the refueling action of an endurance race during a pit stop. The technician has inserted the dry brake valve into the refueling hole to start refueling. Another technician has to stand by with a fire extinguisher ready to put out any fire at any time. This is because the temperature of the car is extremely high when it comes back from the track so that it could catch fire once the heated gasoline drips onto the brake discs. That's all for today's episode. If you want to learn more about the technology of racing cars, let us know in the comments section. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.